Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. This afternoon I am going to be doing a foundation review. I've decided I haven't done any foundation reviews in quite a while. Well it falls like quite a while for me and I'm actually missing doing them. So there has been quite a lot of new foundation launches recently. Today I've got hold of some samples of another one um, which is a UK based one. It's an indie brand so it's like a one woman band. She, she creates foundations and they are vegan foundations foundations so let me tell you about the foundation I'm testing out today it's by VE Cosmetics Limited the foundation is called Witchcraft Foundation the website seems to be all very much witchcraft and Wiccan and all that sort of thing I'm not into all of that stuff I don't believe in all of that stuff before anybody says anything so I'm just ignoring all of the stuff about witchcraft and all that sort of thing um, I'm not into tarot cards and all that stuff I just don't believe in it I I've just got thing. I've just got views about that. I think it's because of my Christian background, um, so I'm just ignoring that side of it. I'm just focusing on the foundation totally. So this foundation, it's um, very much cruelty free, vegan. Um, it's in recycled plastic and it's got an SPF of 15. It costs 12 pound 99, so it's very affordable. And I think the good thing about it is that the owner I had a quick conversation with her online. She was great. She sent me out some samples um, of shades that could possibly be in my range. Very quick. She posted them out immediately, first class. Um, so I've got them all in a little bag like this. And the samples, she, she sent me out several samples and they all came in little pots like this. So I've got enough to do a face application. Um, 25 shades as I said she describes the foundation as I'll read it out to you our best-selling product this amazing foundation is non-transferable won't rub off on clothes and water resistance with an SPF of 15 it's a dewy finish so you know how I feel about dewy finish because I've got very oily skin um, but if you do want a matte look just pop some witchcraft binds and blur press power I think she means powder or strange magic loose power on top to achieve a matte look pardon me so I'll just do what I normally do I'll just put um, a finishing powder on top it gives medium to full coverage and it's very buildable um, this formula is also anti-aging and contains rose water to help soften hydrate your skin and licorice extract to help even out your skin tone along with moisturizing agents to help plump out your skin and minimize any fine lines and wrinkles so I haven't got um, any issues with fine lines and wrinkles as at the moment because I have got very oily skin so um, no fine lines but I have got sort of enlarged pores along here and I've got hyperpigmentation as you can see um, so as I said 25 shades she has got descriptions of the shades but again it was quite difficult to pick out my shade the sample she's given me I'm just going to do swatches of the shades that I think might work for me so I've picked out three of the samples so we've got shade 12 shade um, shade 22 and shade 23 so let's do quick little swatches on my face and then we'll see what works so it's not much inside the pots but hopefully it's just enough to do what I need to do so this is shade 12 I'm going to put on first just put that here so it's got a slightly red undertone I'm going to bring you in closer so you can see yeah, slightly red undertone but I might get away with that today because I'm only going to do a short wear test so that was shade 12 this is shade 22 shade 22 so it looks significantly darker but when I did my swatch the other day on my thigh it seemed to dry down okay so I'm just gonna put that there so that's shade 22 can we even see that it looks like it might be all right I mean it looks dark but I'm gonna put that again on this side 22 okay and let's do shade 23 so this is 23 I'm just gonna do 12 again here that's 12 okay well, I'm just gonna leave those for a couple of minutes and just see how they dry down I've just given it about five minutes to dry down and just looking at the foundations let me bring you in a bit closer so you can see so this is number 12 so you can still see it 
22 is a little bit dark but I think it's probably the closest to my skin shade and that's 23 that kind of stands out a bit much it's a little bit too much so even though 22 is not my exact shade I think it meets the outer perimeter of my face and my neck area here um, if I was to swatch it on my chest it would be too dark but I'm gonna go with 22 today and then see how I go from there so let me just clean my face up and then put the primer on okay so this primer it actually feels it does feel moisturizing um, but it's not greasy which is good it's got a slightly tacky feel which is great because that means it all grab the foundation um, yeah it feels all right actually hmm, okay so let's put on number 22 and uh, see how we get on with it and then what I'll do I'm just gonna, I'm only going to be doing a short wear test today because um, I'm actually going to go out and just do an inspection because I'm working from home today so I'm going to go out and do an inspection um, and then we'll see how it bears up on my face because when I do it like that it looks really dark doesn't it Right, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to put this on on the outside of my face because this does look really dark when I do it like that. That, that does look dark, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to blend that in and then see how it looks. But I think I'm going to use a beauty blender. But I think just putting it on like that, the swatches, it just looks really dark. I'm going to mix it with the shade 12 um, just to see if I can get just a more appropriate shade match. And what I'll do today, I won't worry too much about the shade matching and I'll just focus on how it performs and how it feels. Basically, the shade I'm wearing, it's um, it would be my shade after I've come back from a after I've been on holiday in a hot country for a couple of weeks. This is definitely my holiday tan color. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on number twelve in the center of my face, just to see if I can just lighten it up a bit. So that 12 just looks really orange on me. Well, it definitely builds up. There's no doubt about that. It's given a, a medium coverage, a solid medium. I'm just finding it difficult to <laughs> look away from the colour at the moment. I look quite oompa loompa ish. Oompa loompa do 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 do. Okay, let's just ignore the colour for now because <laughs> this colour is kind of crazy. If you look at my face and my neck, it's just, yeah, that's just two different colours. But we'll ignore that for now. Um, I'll have to yeah, go back to the drawing board and work out what the shade should be. What I'll do, I'll get in touch with the owner. If this foundation works out for me, I'll get in touch with the owner, show her this video and then she can tell me which shade I should be getting and then I'll update down below. So uh, yeah, so this is how it looks. It feels very light. It is obviously a very dewy finish foundation. Um, if you like dewy finish, I think you'll you'll like this. I'm not a dewy finish person. I'm more of a natural matte finish. Coverage is medium. You can still see my hyperpigmentation on my skin there. I just don't want to put any more of the foundation on because the color is just so off and I am going to be going out in a minute. So, um, so I believe it is buildable, but at the moment I'm just going to leave it at that. It feels light, it feels comfortable, um, as I said, and it is, it's, it's radiant, it's dewy. Let me see if I can put some contour and stuff on and see if I can just lift it up a little bit. So I'm just going to use the um, Makeup Revolution Define, what do you call it? Conceal and Define Concealer in C12. See if I can help just lighten this up a, a tad. helped a 
bit. I'm just going to use the Bella Pia banana powder we got in one of the beauty boxes earlier on this year. I think it might have been Glossy Box they gave it to us. I've actually really enjoyed using this powder as my baking powder. Right, so whilst it's doing its thing, I know it's a mess, but not too fast. Once it's doing that, I'll just do my eyebrows and then I'll do the rest of my face. Right, I'm just going to brush all the powder away. Right, just going to use a little bit of me of my Maybelline Fit Me powder just to blend all that in. Hardly anything left in that. Okay, um, looks all right. My intention is not to wear a lot of makeup today, so I'm just going to put a little bit of eyeshadow on and then call it a day really. A bit of mascara and a bit of lipstick and that's it. So let me just do a little bit of eyes. Let's do that now. Um, I'm going to use the the uh, the Seattle London eyeshadow that I got in the boxy charm for May. So just going to put that on. A dulip eyeliner. I've got this um, eyeliner from QVC. It's like a dark chocolatey brown. And the mascara, which I got this mascara. Where did I get this mascara? Was it in? Was it in the Fab Fit Fun? I can't remember. But it's another Lottie product again. Seems to be getting a lot of um. I'm getting a lot of Lottie products at the moment. And I always confuse Lottie London with Seattle London. So this is a Lottie London. I've got it in one of the beauty boxes, this one. I can't remember which one it was. Right, a um, little bit of blush. This is one I've got in the May Boxy Charm. So it's the Animal Blush Set. I've got it in, sh in medium. lipstick I'm just going to put on this one from NYX lingerie and this is in the shade uh, what Eddie which is a nice nude color for me which I quite like wearing is looking it is actually quite late in the day because as I said I have been working from home today and it's only because I'm going to go out and do this inspection now I just really wanted to just put a little bit of makeup on rather than going out bare face so if I just show you the time now is so it's quarter to three so let's say I put the foundation on at 2 30 um, we'll probably get about four hours I'll be back in about four hours and then we'll see how this performs on my oily skin so just remember I'm wearing two shades I'm wearing um, VE Cosmetics Limited and I'm mix, I've mixed two shades I've mixed shade 22 and number 12 together because I didn't quite have the right sample shade um, and it's a dewy finish and we just want to see how it works out on my skin type how it performs all right see you in a bit Hi, good evening and welcome back. Um, I have been wearing the foundation for a few hours. Let me show you what time it is now. So the time now is 10 to 9 in the evening. Um, I put the foundation on roughly about half past two. So it's about six and a half hours going on to sort of seven hours of wear. So that gives me a good idea of how this foundation has performed. Okay, so you can see that my skin is fairly oily. So I, I did two inspections. Um, the first kitchen I went into, um, it wasn't too hot. It was all right, actually. It had lots of air conditioning in there, so it was actually quite comfortable. The second kitchen, not so much, because it was early evening, they were getting busy, and the kitchen was kind of hot. So you can see that on my face. Um, when I do my foundation reviews, I do tend to look at sort of five categories. So I look at the foundation transfers, because I have got oily skin and I do I wear a white coat when I do my inspections because I'm a food inspector so if the foundation transfers on my collar ain't so good and doesn't look so great so look at if the foundation transfers I look at how it controls my oils because I have got oily skin so I want to see how well it performs in that area I look at the performance so does the foundation apply well does it blend well 
Does it melt? Does it fade? Does it separate? All of that kind of thing. Does it work well with other products that, no, which I use as well? So all of that. I look at the price and then I look at the shade range. Right, so let's go through the, those categories. So I tend to do the transfer and the oil control together. So what I do, I use blotting sheets. So I've got two lots of blotting sheets here. And what I tend to find is that foundations that are pretty good at controlling oil, you know, on, a, on a normal basis, they will use no more than two and a half of these sheets. Foundations that aren't so great at blotting my oils or controlling my oils, they will use three plus um, sheets so and and again if a foundation is transferring it will show up it will show on the sheet as well what i tend to find with most foundations even if they say they are transfer proof what i tend to find is once the oil starts to come out on my skin the foundation starts to melt on my face so i'm going to bring you in close so you can see what i'm doing Eee, look at all that juicy gorgeous fried chicken kind of oil let's do this so sheet one okay sheet one lots of oil not that much foundation there's a little bit of foundation in the center there but not much so that's sheet one sheet two So obviously this is not an oil controlling foundation. Sheet four. So this one I think is just going to mop up and just do the final areas. Okay, how are we looking? All right. Okay, so that's sheet four. So sheet four, Again, quite a bit of oil and um, a little bit of foundation. You can see again, <coughs> um, you can see a little bit of foundation again at the bottom. So here we go. So we've got sheet four here. That was sheet three. I know it's a bit gross for those of you looking, but I keep it real. This is sheet two. And that's the first sheet that did my forehead. So it's not an oil controlling foundation. The foundation, it could be a little bit of um, the finishing powder that I use, but I think most of that, because I didn't use that much finishing powder. So I think most of that is actually foundation. And I can actually see that it has faded on my face. So it was definitely foundation. There wasn't any um, foundation on the collar of my work protective white coat, but um, you can see that it has faded around my face let's just have a quick look in the mirror just to see how it actually did okay so looking in the mirror i can see that there is a little bit of fading up on my forehead under my eyes and around my nose because i can see my mole there um around the, the peripheral areas of my face so it has faded yeah, you can see along there. I mean, I, I didn't do, I didn't build up the foundation application to full. I kind of kept it at medium, but there is still more um, of my skin showing through there, some more hyperpigmentation. So it has transferred, there has been some transfer. So if I'm gonna mark this out of 10 for transfer, I think I've got to be fairly honest and say that it's okay, but it's not brilliant. So I'm just going to give it a, a just above average score. So I'm going to give it a six out of 10 for transfer. Oil control, it's not an oil controlling foundation, but I, they don't make any claims to say that they are. So for oil control, it was quite a bit. Um, I only wore the foundation for just under six and a half hours. Normal activity, I wasn't exerting myself, just a little bit of walking around. It was a bit rainy, it's a bit cool outside. It's been drizzling and raining all afternoon. So um, I'd say for oil control, um, it's not great, definitely below average. I'm gonna say a three out of 10 for that because it wasn't brilliant. Um, for performance right well it applied easily enough there's no problems in how it applied it applied very easily it feels very light feels very comfortable um it doesn't feel greasy and heavy i mean that's the thing even though i've got oil of production it still doesn't feel very heavy and greasy i can just feel the oil on my face but that's not the foundation um, it worked well with my other products at all there was no difficulty in applying it with a sponge i didn't apply it with a, with a brush 
well I kind of put it on my face with a brush a little bit didn't I my first application but I blended it out with a sponge so it seemed to perform fine it hasn't it's faded a little bit it hasn't really separated but it has faded but again I've got oily skin so I think for performance I'm going to give it a fairly average score again again this is based on someone who has got oily skin um, I would say for me this is a 5 out of 10 for price $12.99 it's not that expensive it's, it's a decent price it's actually it's very much high street drugstore kind of price for foundations now so it's an affordable decent quality foundation um you know there's foundations out there now which you find in your boots and your super drug that are like 15 pounds now so this is $12.99 it's an okay price it's, it's affordable i haven't got an issue with that price at all so i think for price considering what it is and what it does i think it's fine so i'm just going to give it a nine and a half out of 10 to be honest because the price is fine i'll only give something a 10 if it's um if it's 10 pound and below you know what i mean so, um the shade range well there's 25 shades um so 25 shades initially that sounds really good i do have an issue with the shades because i i don't didn't one i don't actually like the the um the undertone of these of these colors at all and i seem to find it quite difficult to find my right shade going by what's on their website i mean i'm just looking at if i just go by their website these are the colors the order seems all very weird it all looks very weird i mean i'm just looking here at let's have a look shade 12 shade 12 actually looks fairly accurate if you look at their shade 12 and what i've got there so that's shade 12 and this was very orange on my skin shade 22 um shade 22 looks like very rich chocolate color there and that's that shade there i mean looking at that it shouldn't be a color that can work on my skin i mean it was too dark for my skin but it's not very accurate shade 23 um that was too dark for my skin this 23 yeah 23 there again just very dark i mean i'm looking at even looking at the swatches the swatches didn't really help either so look at the swatch there their swatch of 23 looks like it's quite ready brown and it was actually a very very dark color on my skin so the the sway the, sh the swatches on here don't really help um, and I t I'm still trying to work out what shade would suit me I mean I wonder if shade 21 would actually suit me I don't know or I really haven't got a clue what shade would actually work for me at all I'm not sure if there is a shade because going by this shade 22 should have been all right for me because it looks quite neutral in undertone but you saw that it was actually really really dark on my skin so I'm not sure about the shades there so I think the shades are a little bit difficult um, you will need to have samples to find out what your right shade is there are a couple of reviews on YouTube of it um, most of the, the reviews seem to be within the last year two years so again it's, it's a case of having a look to see what would match with you try to think if there was anybody with a deep skin tone i've just seen what 19 and 20 would be like um by the swatches off on this what 19 and 20 look like they look like they would have been too light so i'm not quite sure what shade i would have been there at all um so how do i think about the shade range i think the shade range needs a little bit of work going by what i have here um yeah it just needs a little bit of work particularly i think on the middle shade ranges definitely again i can't really comment on the lighter skin shades so you have to look at those people on youtube who have done it so there's about as i said there's about three or four people who have done um sort of the fair and light skin shades to see how they work um yeah so i don't think i'm that impressed with the shade range to be honest so i think i'm just going to give it a five out of ten because it's not that great it's not that great and if you see my skin's getting oily again already and just that's just in the time i've been sitting here so and it's not just the lights i've got going on here it's just i just don't think this is a very all controlling foundation so is this a foundation that i would purchase full size probably not um 
but the good thing about this is that it's a cruelty free it's a vegan foundation she's UK based um, she's a one woman band I think those are kind of things again I just like to support indie brands UK based brands um, I like to support women of color brands as well obviously um, and vegan cruelty free so she's hitting at least three out of the things there as in being you of my things there which I like to support UK based indie and she's a female owner so those are three I think this is not a foundation for someone who has got oily skin I wouldn't even think it's some for someone who has got combination skin tone because I, I did use my my top primers as well I think if you've got dry skin so normal dry skin I think you'll enjoy this much better than someone like myself but I feel bad sort of giving a, a very neutral review but I've got to base it on my shade and my skin type so I'm a deep skin person and I've got oily skin so for me dry skin and this is something that you would like just give her an email so she's on Instagram VE Cosmetics just email her and see if she's willing to send you some samples of shades that you'll you know give your comparative shades and see if she can send you something to, to try out um, I did like the primer though the primer seems to be okay it seemed like a, a nice moisturizing primer so the primer is something I probably would use again because it was moisturizing and it seemed to have a bit of tackiness as well which always makes me think it's going to grip the foundation pretty well so for if i wanted a, an all over face primer i wouldn't have an issue with that at all so that's something i would probably buy again but the foundation is a bit of a no for me i'm afraid god i feel so bad doing that but hey that's what my foundation reviews are all about okay let me know what you think yeah um so it's ve cosmetics foundation witchcraft foundation um vegan it's vegan cruelty free uk based indie indie brand and it's a, a female owner so i think those are all positive things shade range i think needs a little bit of work it's not suitable for oily skin i would say it's more suitable for people who have got dry skin normal skin but the price is good 12.99 and she posts out very quickly so you're gonna get good service from her one way or the other all right just let me know what you think down below do you agree with my comments do you completely disagree with my comments let me know down below um that thanks very much for watching bye we'll see you soon take care bye